Okay, I guess we can start. Uh, if there are any new participants, they should definitely be able to join uh, in the process. So I'm going to stop my video and mute myself and let Naveen start. Yeah, but I think you still have to like do the slides. Yeah, I'll do the slides. Don't worry. Okay, okay, cool. Um, yeah, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to our workshop on collaborative perception and federated machine learning for autonomous driving. Uh, so this is this is part of the deep learning and autonomous driving workshop series that has been ongoing since the past uh, few years. Um, yeah, we also thank the program committee of ITSC conference uh, for making it part of their uh, conference. Um, yeah, maybe can you go to the next slide? Oh, yeah, I'll just introduce myself first. So I'm Naveen. I'm working as a machine learning engineer in BMW group uh, since the last four years. And among the other organizers, we have uh, Ravi, who is also in the line, who is working for Navia. Then uh, we have uh, Sentil, who is working for Valeo, uh, Konstantinos uh, Mustakas, who is an associate professor in University of Patras, and Victor, who is working for IRI. Um, I think you missed one slide. Yeah. Okay. So a brief introduction to the to the workshop itself. Uh, so most of you might be familiar uh, with the federated learning paradigm based on the famous uh, Google bot paper. Um, so analogous to that. So there, the training of the models is uh, pushed towards the edge devices, which were the cell phones. Um, so analogous to that, in autonomous driving, we also can do. Uh, federated learning um, in the cars. Um, it, it kind of fits perfectly because we have uh, privacy constraints as well as network um, bandwidth constraints of sending, like ingesting huge volumes of data. Um, so once we have, uh, yeah, once you think of federated learning as the background, then uh, the other related parts also come in like multi-agent systems and uh, collaborative perception, planning, and localization. So this is our uh, goal for the workshop, uh, where we try to understand how all of these piece, um, pieces uh, fit together. And, and we try to bring together the different communities, autonomous driving, federated learning, and V2X, which is like the talking between the, among the vehicles. Um, yeah, so, and uh, we have an impressive uh, lineup of speakers from both academia and industry um, in our workshop. Uh, can you go to the next slide? Uh, yeah, so this is, this is the outline of the program. Um, so we have, uh, we start with uh, Dr. Renaud uh, Dubé um, and then carry on with other talks from Aaron Miller, uh, Professor Garvis, uh, Edward and uh, Nadaf. Th then there's uh, there's a break for one and a half hours or 75 minutes. Um, I think it's one and a half hours. Yeah. A and then we have a demonstration by Edgify. Uh, after that, we have two more talks from Professor McDonald and Dr. Jan Ramon. Um, and later, uh, at the very end, we have an interactive Q&A with the speakers. So throughout the uh, workshop, we uh, we stream the talks uh, and uh, we request all the attendees to uh, keep the questions towards the end from uh, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. where we have the interactive session. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the brief outline of the program. Um, yeah, without further ado, I think we can get started with the with the very first talk. Um, maybe Ravi, I think you can. Hello, Ravi. Yeah, I'm having I'm having trouble uh, with Zoom anyway. So okay. without any without any uh, without any more delay, I would like to introduce Dr. Renaud Dubé, uh, who works who works on uh, multi-agent mapping uh, using leaders. And right now, uh, Dr. Renaud Dubé is a technical lead and co-founder of Seven Sense Robotics. And uh, so I'll start the talk right now. And if you have any questions, please post them with the name of the speaker, your speaker, and the question. And you'll be able to ask them at the end 